Welcome to Fenway Park. Hey everyone, it's Jackie Dempsey and today's a game day, so we're gonna take the tee right here at Copley Square and head to Fenway. Well, we're here, this is Lansdowne Street. There's the Green Monster right behind us. There's also Game On right here, Bleacher Bar down there, and we can stop into Bleacher Bar. And we'll get a view of the park from center field because they have a garage door that lifts open. It's, it's kind of cool. People can eat at these tables right here and up until game time, and then they shut this garage door so you can't pickle the fans. All right, this is one of the greatest Red Sox players of all time. Ted Williams. He had 521 home runs and even served in World War II during the prime of his career. And this statue is dedicated to him here at Fenway Park. We are at the Green Monster. One of the cool things about the Green Monster that I love are these little baseball prints. Imagine how hard the baseball had to hit that wall to make those dents. Now this is also the door that Manny Ramirez used to come in during the game and everyone wondered where he went. Well, we're gonna find out now. Hope this key works. Got it. Whoa. This whole place is full of autographs and signatures of fans, former players, celebrities. Anyone that gets to come back here, you have to sign the wall. That's how they do it. We are on the top of the Green Monster and the famous Fisk pole from 1975 in the World Series when he hit that home run and waved it fair. This is the pole and the view of the park. Okay, we're gonna go up into the bleacher section and check out this red seat. This is the longest home run that was ever hit in Fenway Park. 502 feet hit by Ted Williams. We're gonna go head out and check out Pesky Pole, which is named after Johnny Pesky, and it's one of the shortest home runs uh, in Fenway Park. I, pitchers don't really like it, because it should be just a pop-up that's caught, but it ends up being a home run. So it's a few hours before game time, and pretty soon I'll go change and man the foul lines. But right now, let's go catch up with a few of the players. I'm here with Jackie Bradley Jr. He's the Red Sox center fielder. Give it away. Bradley charges, and he's able to make the catch. I know that we wanted to come up with something to kind of celebrate, and uh, we kind of turned it into an outfield thing. You just finally come up with something that feels right, and that's what felt right. This is Red Sox shortstop Xander Bogart. What's going on guys, it's Mookie Betts here. Impression of David Ortiz I want to show you. When he walks, he just has no care in the world, just dragging his bat. Strolls slowly as he's coming to the plate. Spinning bolts and... Make sure he digs in. Over, tap, tap. You know, you just have your little swag, just a little mean mug, just looking at him. Gets ready. Black kick like his... Sits back on it. Flip the bat. We're on legendary Yaki Way, and right now this street is nice and crowded with fans. I'm ready to go. Thanks for joining me. I hope you got a good sense of Fenway Park, and I hope to see you at a game soon. See ya!